a new audio solution, a new video solution, and a new parent solution. Stay tuned. Okay guys, sorry if the audio sucks. New microphone, new Rode wireless. Gonna take a while to get used to it. I've been playing with it, but still gonna take a little while. New camera, Micro Four Thirds Panasonic G7. Obviously you should be able to tell that this is in glorious 4K already. Not that I know that, hmm, beard in 4K. No, anyways, 4K it is. We're gonna try some time-lapsing in 4K as well in this video. So let's talk about the PC build that we're actually here for. This is for my parents. Their current system is like, I think it's a 920 uh, Intel. It's the, one, the first gen i7, four core, not hyper-threaded back then. And, you know, it served them well for almost seven years now, but it's showing its age, even with an SSD in there, uh, it's definitely starting to get laggy. Um, you know, it's just, it's just showing its age. It's definitely not the lean, mean fighting machine it used to be. So it's time for a new build for them. Now, they don't need anything special. They're doing, you know, web surfing and, uh, you know, game like solitaire and stuff like that. Looking at photos, taking photos with their, their camera and importing them, stuff like that. Really easy stuff. So let's talk about a couple of the things that I wanted to do. One is... I definitely wanted something with better dust filtration than what they currently had. Now, this is no, you know, Fractal Design R5 or, you know, something like that with like the super crazy dust filtration, but the Cooler Master cases are do a really good job. The only thing that, you know, is kind of a downside for my parents is to clean the fan filter, you have to take the front bezel off. But frankly, who's going to clean it? Me, not them. So I'm not really worried about that. All the other vents are dust filtered. Uh, it would be nice if the top had a little bit better dust filter on it, but it does still have a dust filter. You know, you have to remove it from the inside, but there are no fans up here. So I'm not worried about that. So check on the dust filtration. The next one is quiet because currently they have, it's a Dell XPS studio system that good God, when those system fans decide they're going to turn on, you might as well have the vacuum cleaner on in the house. So, this case is a great case. Um, not so PC parts picker guys, is the where I'm, it's $420 what this build came out to. This case is not the exact case that I picked for this build, but you know, like a lot of people always say when they were doing these YouTube videos, I'm using what's on hand, not what I would actually pick. So this is the bigger brother case of what I the, the cooler master case that I picked for the, the parts build. The other uh, big item that's different here is the power supply. I would get the 430 or 500 bronze, and this is the 550 gold. So, you know, it's pretty close, but you know, these are the parts that I had on hand. A few things that I did, I moved the front fan from the bottom position up to the middle to get more direct airflow through the case. I removed the two and a half inch bay because I don't need that for them. And, you know, it's, it's funny because you can see there's an awful lot of open space because it's not a full width MATX board. Um, because frankly, it doesn't need to be. The idea here is to be, you know, good and still cheap. So why I like this Gigabyte board is a lot of, you know, really value oriented motherboards. You get two fan headers. You get the CPU fan header and you get one system fan. This board actually has two system fan headers on it, which I think is very good value for the money. So also it only has four SATA ports, but frankly, you know, at most this machine will ever have two hard drives and then the CD ROM because yes, my parents do still have CDs with stuff on it that they need to get to. So not a big deal. Uh, an added bonus is we do get USB 3.0 on the back here, but not for the front panel. So you have to use an adapter to go um, from USB to uh, three on the front of this case to USB two. You know, it's just one of those things. But like I said, for my parents, you know, if they ever plug anything into this case, I would, I'll probably have a heart attack. Uh, other than that, you know, Boss little uh, Cooler Master cooler. Um, oh, the RAM. Found an awesome deal on Amazon. 
uh, Aries 2400 megahertz RAM, and it was like 60 bucks for eight gigs of 24 megahertz DDR3. So that was just a steal. Uh, it really made this build you know, nice and slick the way I wanted it. So that brings us to the last thing, which is this, the CPU. Well, in this case, it's the APU. It's an AMD FM2 uh, 7870K. Now, we're gonna try a few things with this case. Obviously, overclocking, not super important to my parents. However, if I can eke just a little bit extra out of this to the point where you know it's, not, it's still stable and it's just a little tiny overclock, then you start getting much better value for money. The other thing we're gonna try is we're gonna see how this runs without uh, any graphics cards. And obviously, guys, I'm gonna run gaming benchmarks on it just to see how it does, but the uh, my parents, that's not gonna matter. I mean, let, let's be honest, not gonna matter to the parents. But the other thing we're gonna try in a future video is putting a Fury in here. Oh, that's right, a Fury Nano. Hells yeah. Because I'm just curious what'll happen. Um, I think the 7870 has enough legs that it'll keep up with most video cards. Even, you know, you're, you're going to see, you know, you're maybe not getting what you pay for with a Nano, but it might be a totally acceptable thing to do if you have an APU-based system. The Nano is like one six pin, and almost everybody's machine has one of those, you know, even like something from Dell. So, you know, you can put in one of those and, you know, sure you're buying a $500 video card, but you might be extending the life of your rig by quite a bit for 500 bucks. And you can always take that video card and put it in something else. So I'm curious to see what will happen. Like I said, that'll be a different video. Um, where I, I'm gonna do some perf runs on this thing and just see how it does and, and kind of wrap that up in a video. I'm also gonna do like a, a you know, like a, 7900 series card or an, an R7 or uh, you know some some other cards that I have laying around maybe a you know like a GTX 670 you know just whatever is around that I have and we'll see how that does but you know like I said it's it came out as a really clean build and you know my cable management is uh, I wouldn't call it awesome but it's acceptable and it should totally uh, the back panel should fit which is always my goal with any of my cabling. But you know, it's clean. It'll be easy to debug if something ever goes wrong or if I ever wanna upgrade something. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just a nice clean little build and it should work really well for my parents. So guys, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Thanks for hanging in there. Uh, I think the framing looks pretty good, but you know, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think of the video and audio from, from this video, because I really am interested uh, working on uh, a two camera setup, which we'll have at some point so that I can kind of cut back and forth between cameras. But until then, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV again, in case you forgot. I don't know how you could, kind of loud, big. See you guys next time.